close your eyes. And focus on your breath. When the breath comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, know that it's going out. That's all you have to know. There'll be sounds in the background, but you don't have to listen to them. You hear them, but you don't have to pay them any attention. You're the one who can decide where you're going to pay your attention at any one time. So right now, pay attention to something that's really useful. And pay attention to training the mind. Because to stay with a breath like this requires some really basic abilities, really basic talents that many of us don't develop. It develops our mindfulness, it develops our alertness, our concentration. And that helps develop the discernment that we have to, to bring to issues in our lives. So it's good to practice like this. Because once the mind is in good shape, it can do all kinds of things for us. If it's not in good shape, it can create all kinds of trouble. So you have to decide where you're going to focus your attention at any one point. You have the choice. As the Buddha said, we always have the choice to do the skillful thing. The situation may not be the situation we want, and the range of choices may not be as wide as we'd like. But there always is a skillful choice, one that's harmless. He says we can always choose that. Because those are the choices that open up more opportunities in the future. Those are the choices that make life a lot better for ourselves, for the people around us. And so we want to take advantage of this ability to choose to do the right thing, to choose to do the most, most helpful and most fruitful thing. Like right now, we want to train the mind. Because if you go through life without a trained mind, what do you have at the end? A few memories, and those memories are going to get wiped out. And then you've got the actions you've done. Okay, That goes with you, that pile of actions, the things you've done, the things you've said, the things you've thought. So you want to ask yourself, what kind of pile of actions are you taking? You're loading yourself up for, with your luggage to travel. And this is John Fu he once said, he says, we're all, we're all in the lineup to go. We're all in the line. We don't, they're going to call our number. We don't know what number we have, how soon our number is going to get called. But we know we are going, so we have to pre be prepared. You want to make sure that the luggage you take with you is useful. When you get over there on the other side, you find that it's filled with all kinds of useful things. And the fortunate thing about good luggage like this is that there's somebody going to carry it for you. You don't have to lug it around. The stuff you lug around is your bad karma. And when you get over there, you find what you have. You have straw, you have dirt, all kinds of things that are not going to have any value for you at all. So try to Pack your luggage with good things. In other words, do the right thing, say the right thing, think the right thing. Remember, you've got that choice all the time. So right now you have the choice to let your mind wander around and not gain anything. Or you have the choice to do something really useful, to get the mind trained, to get your mindfulness stronger, your alertness stronger, your concentration stronger. So whatever comes up in the course of your life, good, bad, or indifferent, you'll be able to handle it skillfully. We tend to think of the bad things in life as the real problems, but the good things in life can be problems as well, because you can handle them in a way that's going to lead to your own, your own suffering down the line. So good, bad, or indifferent, you want to be ready for whatever comes up, and you want to have your tools ready. So when the time comes to go, the, the luggage you've been creating will be good luggage. It'll be good luggage you open up on the other side, and you find gold, silver, all kinds of good things that you can use on the other side. Otherwise, the amount of time we have left, it's n you have no idea how much there is, and you have no idea what you're going to be packing when you go, aside from what you're doing right now, right now, right now. So focus on this. Focus on the fact that you've got this opportunity right now. And don't let this opportunity to go to waste, because if you let this opportunity to go to waste, it develops a bad habit. All kinds of other good opportunities are going to go to waste as well. So make the mind of Make up your mind that you're going to make the most of each moment as it comes, as it comes, as it comes. And you'll find that the good karma that you create is going to take care of itself and going to take care of you as well. You're not stuck with lugging rocks and other worthless, worthless things around with you. You've got the good fortune of a human birth. Make sure that you at least carry that fortune over and try to make it a better fortune. It can be the better, the fortune of a heavenly birth, the fortune of nirvana. It all depends on how you use the time that you have. 